The ship's marine engines are considered to be the biggest engines on earth with massive power to propel a heavy loaded ship. There are different parts of the marine engine which helps the engine to rotate the crankshaft and propel the ship from one port to another. Each component plays an important role in powering and running a marine diesel engine. But the engine cannot run unless all components are in place and are in working condition. The main engine of a seagoing cargo ships are usually two-stroke internal combustion engines. The working of the two-stroke engine can be understood from this video. For a marine engineer or a professional working on ships, it is vital to know different engine parts and their function to operate and troubleshoot when needed. You must have seen the engine inside the machinery room of the ship, covered and assembled with different other auxiliaries. Let's take it out from its installation and only concentrate on the main engine to understand its different parts. But before proceeding further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified when we post a video. Looking at the exterior of the engine, it comprises of the following. Bed plate. Bed plate is the foundation block for two-stroke engine. It is built to withstand the constant force from the engine but is also flexible enough to handle constant fluctuations. A-frame. It is a fabricated steel structural element of a slow speed two-stroke diesel engine. It stands on the bed plate above the main bearings. The A-frame carries the crosshead guides and support the engine entablature, also known as the cylinder block. Entablature An entablature is a part of ship's main engine which houses the cylinder liner along with the scavenge airspace and cooling water spaces. Turbocharger Turbochargers are heat recovery equipment helping to enhance the efficiency of the engine by supplying fresh air. They are located near the cylinder block. Check this video to understand the turbocharger operation. Charge air cooler Charge air cooler is a cooling arrangement for air supplied from the turbocharger before sending it to the combustion chamber. It is usually located below the turbocharger and adjacent to the scavenge space. Scavenge trunk Scavenge trunk is a space where the cooled air from the charge air cooler is supplied for efficient combustion. Cylinder head It acts as a lid of the combustion chamber and supports the exhaust valve and fuel injectors necessary for operation. Exhaust valve The exhaust valve helps to draw out the exhaust gases post the combustion process. Know more about the functioning of marine engine exhaust valve in this video. Exhaust trunk The exhaust drawn out of the exhaust valve is then transferred to the exhaust trunk from where it strikes the turbine blades of the turbocharger for heat recovery. It is located in between the cylinder head and turbocharger unit. So these are the basic components which can be seen from outside of the engine. Now let's dive inside the engine to understand different rotating and moving parts that are involved in the propulsion process that is movement of the propeller. Liner It provides a durable and heat resistant combustion chamber preventing combustion products from escaping into the engine itself. It is located at the top side of the entablature. Piston Piston is used to convert the force of expanding gases into mechanical energy during the process of combustion. It moves inside the liner and is connected to the crosshead by piston rod. Piston rings It seals the piston, therefore sealing the combustion chamber preventing gases from leaking into the piston and surrounding areas. Piston Rod It carries the piston and connects it to the crosshead where the motion transfer takes place. Stuffing Box 
The crankcase is separated from the cylinder and scaven space by a diaphragm plate on a two-stroke crosshead engine. The piston rod passes through a stuffing box which is bolted into this diaphragm plate. The stuffing box contains a series of scraper rings and sealing rings to seal and separate these two spaces. Crosshead A reciprocating block which usually slides in guides and is the connecting point for piston rod and the connecting rod in a low speed two stroke diesel engine. Connecting rod The connecting rod is fitted between the crosshead and the crankshaft. It transmits the firing force and together with the crankshaft convert the reciprocating motion to a rotary motion. Crankshaft It is the main component behind transmitting power to the propeller shaft. The crankshafts on the large modern two-stroke marine diesel engine can weigh over 300 tons. They are too big to make as a single unit and so are constructed by joining together individual forgings. Camshaft The camshaft carries the cams which operates the fuel pumps and exhaust valves. Because these operate once every cycle of the engine, the camshaft on a two-stroke engine rotates at the same speed as the crankshaft. Gear Drive Camshafts are driven either by gears or chains. In the case of gear drive, a train of gear wheel is fitted which transmits the drive from the crankshaft to the camshaft. If you found this video useful, please do like and share it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.